All right. Hello, and welcome to episode six of Elixir Drops. And uh, I want to say a big shout out to my 60 subscribers so far. I'm amazed that uh, we're picking up pace so quickly. I think it's awesome that people find this content useful and interesting. So let's get into it. Today, I wanted to talk about how to make an Elixir application. And here's how you do it. Mix new app or app can be anything you want. That's just the name of your project. So we're calling ours the boring app. Now it'll create these files for you and I'm going to look at some of these and tell you what they are. But first let's CD into our app and open it up. So I think I actually have already got this open here. Whoa. And here we go. So uh, it creates a config folder for you with some config. That's kind of boring, blah, blah, blah. Uh, a test folder, so it kind of creates this function and a test helper to get you started and encourage in writing tests, which I'll make another video about that. And lib is where all your modules are going to be, so it gives you one off out of the bat, but you can make as many as you want and they will all be included in here. And uh, here you see we've got this def hello world function that they created and uh, some examples, and this is actually a test as well. Uh, most important is this mix exs file. So that's where your project gets compiled and kind of defined. Um, the application is, of course, this is the name of our app version. I should be on 1.9, but I keep defaulting to 1.8. I got to fix that. And more importantly, your dependency. So, uh, you know, if you want to go to Elixir hex, hex packages and install a dependency like so, you can grab the config here and place it right in here. And you know what, while we're at it, I'm also going to grab this one because I want to show that in a minute. So we add these dependencies and now we can come back here and say mix depths.get. That will compile our dependencies that we just added and now we have more code in our app. Yay. Uh, and if you ever forget, there's mix help to, to look at all these great mix commands. Uh, when you start p publishing your own mix hex packages um, or doing more stuff, doing more interesting things. I mean, I haven't even done some of these things, archive, I don't know. It's all here and listed, so you can check it out more. Um, so now we have that, we can actually go inside the project and you've seen this in other videos, but you just say IEX-S mix and you're inside your project, your uh, Erlangs is running and Elixir is on top of it and everything's running on the beam and it's all happening here. Um, and it's taking a little bit to compile. That's probably because I added um, some really cool doc uh, gem, or not gem, <laughs> Ruby slip there, um, Elixir package, which I wish we could just call Elixir drops, but that's another subject. So here we go. We have app, it gave us this cool hello function, whippity do. We have our uh, some, one of our dependencies, which we uh, can look at with the H, and it's got some nice documentation in here. We're not going to actually use that guy. Um, so that's how you get dependencies into your application. Now if you of course start writing some code and if we go back to our app here and we you know create a new function here maybe uh, the high function all right it's not gonna of course show here right it's undefined so you can exit out and recompile your app uh, just by going into the IEX shell again with that dash s flag or you can just recompile the module yourself with the R uh, command and now we have that high function there. So don't forget if you're making changes you got to recompile. That's just part of the part of the goal that is Elixir. And um, another thing I wanted to show you is I added this uh, other dependency here, xdoc. So as you get your app up and running and you, of course you've made a bunch of files with awesome doc examples here with descriptions and tests, then you can run this mix docs command and this will compile your documentation into a pretty HTML format, which you can actually then publish. Uh, so you can see here, there's of course not, not a lot going on here right now, but uh, uh, here we go, top. So this hello, hello world functions, examples, app dot hello world, hi, this is all coming from this file right here. So when you have documentation like that, it can show up uh, in a pretty format for you in this, uh, this, this function here, or this, uh, this tool. So it's very cool, highly recommend it. Um, what else did I want to show you in 30 seconds? So that's how you make a mix a new app. Now, of course, this is not a Phoenix web application. This is just an Elixir application, but uh, I will say one other thing, and this is a prelude to next episode, but what has happened here is that Elixir has started all these processes, and this is the, the gold of Elixir. And so all these things are running 
Um, and we're going to look at that in the next episode in much more detail, but uh, there you have it. This is how you make an Elixir app. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.